Hello again everyone, this is Fred again right here showing you some interesting things about Portugal and today we are going to be cooking one of my very favorite dishes from our country and what it is is called a fish in the salt so first of all today we need to go do some shopping I want to get a nice tasty delicious fish and I need to get a few other things so yeah <laughs> Okay, so I decided to come to Lidl. This supermarket usually has really great fish. Uh, yeah, I see there is a huge line in for some waiting, but you know, that's Corona life for you. <laughs> for you, two seconds will be inside. So ideally we are looking for a door Dourada like these or a robalo like this one. I think I'm gonna get one of these ones. Let's see. So I didn't go for the big guy, the sea bass robalo, because I don't have enough people at home to enjoy it. So instead, I went for a couple of smaller doradas, which is that one over there. Uh, and when you buy the fish, you just tell them to get it ready or prepare it to be made in the salt which means it's got to have the scales and everything outside they just remove the gut that's it okay so i've got everything i'll see you back at home when we start cooking okay guys and we are now in the kitchen so yeah sorry if the echoey noises are disturbing a little bit i don't know how the sound really is but today we are going to need fish i've got two doradas uh, salt, the thicker kind, two bags, potatoes, there they are, I'm just gonna start boiling them now, and vodka, this will be at the end, a tray for the fish, first up let's get these potatoes boiling over there. Okay, now let's get some of this salt out of the bag. Scissors. And you want to lay just not too thick of a layer first. There it is. Also something we need. Something to spray the salt with water. There we go. This is just so we have some control over the shape of the salt. Now I like to use a tool of this shorter shape. So let's get it nice and flat. The first layer of salt is ready. Now we need to take the fish on here. So ooh, this is leaking a little bit. I'll bring you over here so you can see what I'm doing. Yes. Okay, so. Here it goes. One, two. Yeah, they do have blood. Just deal with it. <laughs> All right. I'll pour one off at the time. Here we go. I want to pass them by water. Now, when I bought the fish, I asked the ladies to get it ready to, for the salt, to be made in the salt. This means it still has all the scales on. You can see if I pass my finger this way, it kind of, look, you can see the scales. If I pull them back this way, they're gone. So, scales and everything, and they just removed the guts. The fish like this, ready to go 
on the salt. So bring you over here and I'll show you kind of how I'll put them. So that's fish number one. Let's get fish number two. This one, I'll put it in this way. They can be like this, close together. Can you see that? Now it's just a matter of covering the whole thing with salt. We want to try and preserve as much salt as we can. So all of this salt that is on the sides here is going to go. I'll try to pull it over onto the fish like this. Done. Okay, and as you can see right there, uh, two fish, they're ready to go in the oven. So really what you want to do now is uh, preheat your oven at about 170 degrees. That's what I like. That's what works for me in my oven. Uh, I tend to use this setting right here that has uh, like a fan and then the, it heats from up and from the bottom as well. Uh, yeah. What next? Oh, I want to tell you, because these two fish are about 600 grams each, um, yeah, for me, usually that would take about 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. Usually I tend to cook bigger fish uh, about a, around a kilogram or even a kilo and 200 around that line and usually those go more like closer to 30 minutes uh, but that will vary according to your oven you really have to try and test it out usually trial and error is the best way of learning but as you can see this is very very simple also uh, an easy little thing that I want to tell you is that if you eat this thing in a restaurant, this is a dish that can be extremely expensive. You're looking at spending about a hundred bucks uh, for something like this on a restaurant. Uh, whereas at home, like I bought these fish for about 10 euros, the two of them. So <laughs> um, yeah, really awesome value. As you can see, a bag of salt like this is <laughs> like 50 cents. So yeah, and then it turns out really delicious. So now, time to go into the oven. I'll set up the table and uh, finish up cooking the potatoes right here. I'm also gonna show you how I do the potatoes because I'm, I'm not just gonna boil the potatoes, but I have uh, my own little technique, which I think just makes them taste a little better. So yeah, let's go and do that. That's it, so 20 to 25 minutes later, because of the size of this fish, it's ready. Now, let's go and do the vodka party trick. So, you just need a vodka and one of these, lights off, sprinkle it over 
the salt a little bit everywhere. There we go. Lights off. And there you go. Hopefully you can see this on camera. <laughs> So here we go, these are our tools and what we want to do is just crack the shape of the fish all around it. The shell might be a little thick, depends a little bit on your dedication when preparing this. If you're really good, the shell will come off all together. And then same thing on the other side. And that's it for today guys. So yeah, you can see the nice little clean fillets. Now you just go under them, serve them onto the plate, done. And Give it a taste guys, give it a go now that you're stuck at home. I will see you next week with another new adventure or whatever we can come up with. Leave your suggestions down in the comments and ciao!